So guys, today, as you guys can probably already tell, is that today we're going to be doing a review on the Hammock Bliss Double Hammock. And before we get started and before we talk about this awesome blue and purple hammock, please, as always, guys, do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more awesome Alaskan content and reviews like this one. So like I said, today we're going to be doing a review on this double hammock. Now, I've had this hammock for around two months now and I've been using it actually a lot more than I thought I would. And this is of course my first outdoor, you know, adventuring kind of backpacking hammock. And I am new to this whole hammock camping slash bushcrafting, kind of using a hammock as a sleep system. But I have to say that while for many years I was actually quite opposed to hammocks and hammock camping, I thought just build shelters, build shelters, build shelters. As I've kind of gotten older, I've kind of moved my philosophy more over to having a lightweight, easy system to carry in and the setup time on a hammock, even a hammock sleep system with a tarp is still very fast, very quick and very effective. And it's just overall, especially like I said, when you mix it with a tarp, you just get superior, way superior water protection and element protection in general. So those parts I've been really enjoying about hammock camping. And like I said, this being my first hammock, I have really, really enjoyed it. Now, these, this hammock here in particular is a double hammock and you can get it in two different colors or two there's multi-colored but two different colorations and the first one is a tan and green and i was actually pretty tempted to get the tan and green because as you guys can notice kind of like what i'm wearing i wear a lot and use those colors a lot but i thought i really wanted to mix it up on this one and actually go for blue and purple and i actually really like this blue and purple you guys can see the body of this hammock is purple and then it has blue accents like up around here you can see it has blue accents so I actually really like this coloration and I kind of wanted to mix it up because I thought it'd be just a little bit more fun like I was also noting this is a double hammock and I thought that that was pretty unique because most outdoor camping hammocks are just for a single person uh, they are not really large but I found this one really interesting that it was actually a double hammock or two people could sleep in this hammock at once and I have tested it out a little bit and I will say two people can definitely fit in this thing pretty comfortably actually but I mean, you'd want to be good friends with that person. It'd not be like a stranger because obviously being in a hammock, if you guys understand how hammocks work, you're obviously going to be very close together. So if you're okay being very close to the person you're sleeping with, this is a very effective hammock for sleeping two people. And there's more than enough room to sleep two people like laying in this. And like I found up to like three people and a small child or like a medium-sized child could even sit like I'm sitting right now in this hammock because there's a lot of room with this hammock and so <clears throat> like I said I really like that design because I like having the capacity to have an extra person in the hammock and overall I just wanted to test that out because I wasn't sure I've never really seen another hammock or another hammock company make double hammocks and in fact Hammock Bliss actually makes a triple, which I have not tested, so I don't know if that one can hold three people, but I'd sure, I'm sure it probably can, and that, I don't know, that might be getting a little bit ridiculous, because once again, even at three people, you're going to be very, very close to the person you're next to, so be good friends with the person you're going to be sleeping with in this hammock, because like I said, it will be very close. So it definitely can do that though, and that was something I did enjoy, having the ability or capacity to hold multiple people. It also though has a side benefit, not just of being able to hold people, but there's a lot of extra room in this hammock. And so you can really, if you're by yourself like I am today, and you have this double hammock, you have a lot of room. And in fact, you can actually even throw parts of the hammock over you to kind of act as a shield uh, from bugs and stuff like that 
that and that's something that I've used and enjoyed about just rolling single with this doubled hammock. There is a lot of extra room. And another thing I like about it is that when I'm just sitting here, like you can see, because of all this extra room, I can have something like my backpack, you know, I can have extra gear just sitting in the hammock and still have more than enough room for me to comfortably sit or kind of lounge wrap, lounge back or just kind of move around how I feel I need. So now to talk about some accessories and the first accessory or really the only accessory I've been running with this aside from my UGQ tarp which is made by another company is the hammock bliss tree straps which you guys saw me set up and while you can really run this hammock by itself you don't necessarily need tree straps especially if you're like on a boat or something uh, I've been using these tree straps and for the most part I have to say they're exactly like tree straps they do exactly what you want them to do and I have no complaints with these tree straps they're easy to set up they're easy to pack away something I do like about hammock bliss and in general something that I've noticed from them is that everything comes with pouches everything's in pouches as you guys have noticed this hammock has its own pouch which I'll get to here in a little bit and these tree straps also have their own pouch to keep them organized and so this little green pouch here holds the tree straps that's really nice I like being able to have everything in it their own little individual containers keep them all set up and that is something I found very nice about the tree straps but for the most part there's not too much to talk about uh, with the tree straps they're just they work they're tree straps and I really do like them and I will say they do make setting up the hammock of course on trees a lot easier especially if you're working with larger trees uh, one thing I've noted about the tree straps is and this is more of a personal Alaskan kind of thing that when I work you guys have noticed I'm up in the hills right now so the trees are a lot larger up here but when I'm down in the bog lands the trees are a lot smaller so they're strong enough and large enough to support a hammock but the thing is they're so small that the tree straps they have a lot of excess cordage to them or a lot of excess length to them so when I'm working down there I find that there's a lot of excess length but up here there's still quite a bit of excess length as I think you guys can see in the video where I was setting up the tree straps um, there's still a lot there's a good probably like three feet left and these are pretty big trees for Alaska these are around 12 feet in diameter so I don't know if that's a personal I don't know if that's a personal like Alaskan thing maybe just all our trees around here are really tiny but for whatever reason I find the tree straps my only complaint with them is that the cord or the uh, strap part of it is just a little bit long in length and I don't think it needs to be that long because like I said these are huge trees the ones that I set this hammock up on today and I still have a good three three and a half feet of excess cord and or strap and it's even worse when you're setting up on a tree that's like four to five inches in diameter so that's my only real complaint with them but other than that the tree straps work just as you'd expect them to very easy to use and very handy to have so getting back to the hammock um, the one last thing I really do enjoy about it, and it may be a little bit hard for you guys to see, but as you guys noticed with this hammock, um, it came in a pouch. In that pouch, something that I find really cool that uh, Hammock Bliss does is they attach the pouch that this hammock goes into to the hammock. And so that makes it really nice for teardown. You don't have to worry about with this hammock the pouch since it's attached you don't have to worry about keeping up with that pouch and then what I like about it too is since it's attached to the hammock it also doubles as a pouch for putting things into once again if you have any extra gear you want to put in or have close by you like say you want to put your phone away for the night and sleep and you don't want the phone like on your body you can put the phone in here and this is actually a pretty generously sized pouch in fact funny enough I can actually put my full-sized Glock with the holster in this pouch and it still have enough room to like fully hold this uh, Glock with the holster on it so this is a big pouch hopefully you guys can kind of see there this is not a small pouch so you can hold a great deal of stuff 
but for the most part what I actually like to do with this pouch is because there's a whole bunch of pouches like this one and when I'm running my tarp the underground quilt company tarp that also has another pouch to it and so oftentimes what I'll do is take that pouch and this pouch here and just stuff them in this pouch and so I'll have all these little pouches I know it sounds pretty funny but I'll have all these pouches just contained away and I don't have to worry about losing them or them being misplaced because something that's like black or green like this one if this is dropped on the ground it could be pretty easily lost so I just want to put it in here to make sure it's safely stowed so that's the last thing that I really like and find really handy to have with this particular hammock setup so other than that, uh, the last thing I really enjoy about this is actually the price point. And most camping slash outdoors hammocks are for some reason really exuberantly priced. Like um, Hennessy hammocks and stuff, they're very, very expensive. Some of the cheapest ones you can get are over $100. And I know H Hennessy makes some amazing hammocks, but these are pretty equal in quality. Um, there's really not that much differential aside from uh, color but as far as quality goes you know these are pretty much every bit as good these may not have fancy like bug nets on them but uh, these are pretty much equal in quality but very very uh, way more but way more affordable and this one you're seeing here and this is the double not the single or the ultralight those are two below this but this double here is only around $65, so it's really, really affordable. And that is something else that I've very much enjoyed about the Hammock Bliss. And once again, these are still handmade in the U.S., so you're still getting a USA-made product, like I said, handmade here in the U.S., for a very reasonable price point. And I think that really helps with being able to get things like tree straps and, you know, a tarp. Because once you start adding up a lot of these things, hammock camping can get really expensive really fast. And so that's probably one of the largest issues with hammock camping is just the expense to them. But this hammock here in particular is very affordable. So it's easier to get things like tarps and tree straps and sleeping pads, you know, all the whole things you need for uh, hammock camping. Anyways, guys, that's my pretty much my rundown and review of this hammock. Like I said, I've been using it for about two months. I've been very much enjoying it. In fact, oftentimes I'll just set it up in my backyard just for fun because it's really fun to just sit, sit or lay down in it or just sleep in it because uh, I really enjoy hammocks. And I, like I said, I have not really used hammocks much for camping, and so I'm kind of getting into it and having fun with them. But this one has certainly been fun to use. And like I said, I enjoy the doubled capacity. I think that's very unique. They do also make a triple for anyone who wants to sleep three people. I don't know if you are intimate friends with three people or two other people, but in case you are, there's also a triple. But I think the double is a really nice go-between because it's something that you can still very realistically use by yourself, but also if you have someone that you like to go adventuring with, uh, this makes a really nice addition for both of you to be able to sleep in one system at one time. So anyways guys, that's all for now and hopefully you've enjoyed this review and learned about an awesome hammock option for you guys personally. And without any further ado, I'm out.